What's going on guys, Silas Haig here. In this video, I wanna share with you how you can import funnels, landing pages, or websites from ClickFunnels into Groove Pages. So ClickFunnels are currently blocking any attempts to import any of your own funnels into Groove Pages. So what I'm gonna do is share two workaround methods that I've used to get your funnels copied across to Groove Pages. Now, um, before we get into that, if you sign up to your free Groove Pages account using my link, you'll receive my bonuses. So I'll leave a link down for, for that down in the description below. Um, now I've been using ClickFunnels for quite a while, but the lifetime deal and the roadmap for Groove Pages just, just looks so much better. So um, I made the switch, but it's been very difficult to import funnels from, uh, from ClickFunnels into Groove Pages. So I wanna walk through two different methods that you can do. So there are two ways you can do it. So um, if we just go into our Groove Pages dashboard. So once you're inside your Groove Funnels dashboard, just go to Groove Pages here. And then we want to click New Site and Blank Template. And first off, I'm going to show you what happens when you usually try and import something from ClickFunnels into Groove Funnels, and then I'll show you the workarounds. So in order to import a page, click Pages, and then click the plus icon here to add a new page. And then we want to click the URL importer. Then we go find our URL. So in this case, it's this one here. So I'll just copy that and then paste that in here. And if you want to copy the entire page, click that and it will tell you here that you have to add this. Um, you have to prove own ownership by copying this code into your page. So what you do is you copy that and then if you go into your settings of your funnel and click funnels, you can do this at the whole funnel level or just at the page level inside the page builder as well. Um, so that's ignore that. That's just a Google ads tag. Um, but what you want to do is add in this code here, not this particular one, the one that you've copied across and just copy and paste and then save the changes down here. But even if you've done that, it still doesn't work and I'll just show you what happens. So what will happen um, is it blocks the entire page from being imported. As you'll see here, um, it's protected by Cloudflare. So, but what we can do um, to get around that is if we just show you with a new page, so click new and click URL importer. Rather than click copying this um, URL here, Click on the preview page split test version and it'll open up a new page and copy across that URL there, that full URL here. And then if you click that in there and we wanna copy the entire page, if you click copy entire page, it will then import the funnel. Now, as you can see, it's not quite um, 100%. But it's pretty close um, to the original. And it is a relatively new function, so it's, it is getting better over time. I remember the first time I did this, it was nowhere near as good as this. Um, so that's one way you can do it. Now, the second way is um, if you go to Pages and then you press Add New. And then we just want to start from scratch. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to copy the source code. So if we go into our page here on ClickFunnels, so if you just open up the page, and then if you right click and click view page source, and then you want to copy that whole um, source code there. So you can just click control A and then copy. And there are two ways you can import the code into Groove Pages here, you can use this source code button here, and then you just simply copy and paste the entire source code and click save. And there we go, I'll show you that again. The only thing with this is you have to know um, coding if you wanna make any changes to the layout. Um, but there is a way that you can um, make some changes to the bottom or the top of the page. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just clear the whole thing. And if you click blocks and wireframes, and we'll just put in an empty container here. 
and then go to elements and in elements we want to find the code embed element and once you found the code embed element just drag that in and then click on that and click the settings talk here and then just copy and paste in your source code again click save and then what that enables you to do is you can add in blocks at the top or below the um, co embed code element okay we'll just go with a simpler one because that was taking forever to load so if you just drag that in above there then it just pops up above your coded section there and you can also do the same thing below now just bear in mind, make sure that you're only doing these on pages that you actually own because you might get into all sorts of IP issues otherwise if you're copying other people's funnels across. Okay, so I hope you get something out of this video um, and don't forget to like, subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be updated when I release a new video. Have a great day, guys.